Well, who would have thunk it, folks? Two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Two weeks, less than two weeks ago. But, but uh, whatever, less than two weeks ago. I was not a candidate. And now all of a sudden, boom, here we've got 45 days left. 45 days, okay? We're going to do it? I don't know. Let's see. I think we have a chance. And you know what? How many people here have a second crack at something? You know, I, I thought I was going for it back in uh, February and uh, March and April. But here, we, here we go, second, second chance. So let's make it work this time. You've already heard very eloquently discussed tonight why this uh, election is important. I don't have to go over it again. Uh, this, is, this election really is a turning point in our country, and is a turning point on the Eastern Shore, too, and in, in District 1. Um, we don't have the kind of representation now that we've had once before, and that we can have again. This is, this is like a, a door on a hinge that can go either way. And uh, what happens is going to depend on all of us and all of our hard work. And yesterday, I was fortunate, uh, Susan and I got to see Michelle Obama talk. And she spoke about the Republicans and about how when they go through the door of opportunity, what do they do? But they slam the door behind them on the person coming by. Okay? And what, what, what is it like for Democrats, however? What is our vision? Our vision is we're all in this together. And we all need to work this through. And in fact, in this United States, we have still great bounty, great creativity, great ingenuity, and we can solve the problems that are before us and we can move forward. But only if we talk with each other, only if we use common sense, only if we have civility, uh, and only if we can agree on what a fact is after all. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's get, let's get a, more, a little more specific about Eastern Shore and uh, uh, Andy Harris and me. Okay. Uh, what, what are the differences? Well, I can, I can almost say, let's turn it around and say there's almost no way that he and I are not different. Okay? Uh, everything he thinks, I think almost the opposite. Uh, Andy Harris has, has voted 33 times to appear, to appeal, to repeal, thank you. See, I'm a little rusty at this. Uh, to repeal what he calls Obamacare. I embrace it. I think it's not perfect, but let's move forward. Uh, Andy Harris believes that he has the uh, vision uh, the, uh, to, um, to know what's right to do with women's bodies. I trust women. <laughs> Agriculture, the, the backbone of our, where we live here. Andy Harris voted against the farm bill. Andy Harris votes for companies that continue to pollute the bay because it's, uh, they're his business buddies and they give him money. Um, Andy Paris is hypocritical, obstructionist, and he does not represent us. What, I, I, what I'm fond of saying, and I hope you'll repeat with me in just a minute, because I call him Dr. No because he always votes no on everything, and he is a doctor. Um, we, we, we share that, the MD degree. Um, well, I would like you to repeat after me. Dr. No Dr. has to go. Dr. No has to go. <laughs> we, need, we need someone who cares. We need someone who can bring common sense uh, back to our Congress. Uh, we need someone who's going to maintain Medicare and not turn it into voucher care. Uh, we, need to, we need someone who's going to realize that at this critical juncture, we don't need austerity, which is going to bring us further into recession and maybe back slide right into depression by cutting off uh, the support for the middle class. What we need is to invest in our future. We need to uh, invest in education. We need to invest in infrastructure. And these things need to happen now so that we can start moving our country forward again in the healthiest kind of way, not trickle down, but trickle up. So how are we going to win this race? Well, it's an uphill battle. <laughs> Look, uh, we, have, we have so many strikes against us, not to mention the fact that we're left in a situation now with less than six weeks to go, or about six weeks to go. Uh, the early voting starts even before that. It's uh, an absentee ballot that's going out uh, next week. Well, what we need to do, we're going to pull out all the stops, my friends. We're going to do everything we can. We're going to do uh, coffees in people's homes. We're going to do... Uh, rallies. We're going to do mailings. We're going to do robocalls. We're going to do phone banking. We're going to we're going to have signs and uh, 
Better ones than this, but this is one. Uh, we're going to do everything, everything we can possibly do, and, and, at, the, and at the end, on, on election day, on November 6th, we're going to have people all up and down the, uh, the whole district uh, who will be standing at the polls and helping not only with signs, but helping people to understand about how the write-in vote actually works, okay? We have, we already started to create some little leaflets about that, because, let's face it, you know, it's, it's an extra step, and it's not going to be... It's not going to be easy. It's another strike against us, but we can make it work. Uh, and I want to, uh, right now, alert people to the fact that on uh, October 6th, which is just two weeks from today, uh, we're going to have a big uh, kind of opening rally. And by then, I hope to have, uh, you know, right in the thrill of t-shirts and signs and hope, all that stuff, which, frankly, right now, we, we just don't have that stuff. We just, you know, you just can't take a campaign and shut it off and then expect, like, a water faucet you can turn it on again. It's, it takes some work to do, and I want to. I also want to right here thank all the people. Uh, I'm, I'm looking out at the crowd here, and I see Tom Timberman, I see Tom Martin, I see so many other folks. Uh, Erica Branson sitting behind me, so I can't see it, but uh, so many who've helped. Uh, Francie Miller, she she's here. My, my pleasure. Thank you, Francie. And, uh, and, and all the support I've gotten from the Central Committee and the club. I tell you, you know, no no one person gets here by themselves. And all you folks who really help me and get through this, and I, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Well, it feels like love. It does. It really feels like love. So thank you for that. And I'm going to finish up here tonight because look, it's Saturday night. It's late. Everybody needs to get home. I hope the rain has stopped. I don't know. But before we go, I want you to do something with me right now. Um, I want you all to stand up. Okay. And I want you to reach out to someone near you and put your hand on their shoulder. If they let you. And I want you to all repeat after me. Working together. Working together. We can. We can. Take back this district. Take back this district.